And then let's say that somebody's like, no, I don't want that. They say, no, thank you. I don't need this resource. And they think they're going to the confirmation page, but wait, one, I have one more offer for you. Let me, what if I knock that price down for you and add a little bit more value for just $27? Would you take that? So now you, they went from thinking they're coming into your funnel and getting something for free and they ended up spending money. And you, you ended up making $3,000 in one month and play with these numbers. What is your end goal? Right? Because what my end goal is to make 3,000, 5,000, whatever my goal is. Okay, what do I have to start with? How many people do I need to get access to that free product to get my chances of reaching my goal? So this client right here was, they're into trading. All they do is trade, they don't do anything else. And I approached them and was like, hey, if you're interested in making more money passively through digital products, well, let me let me know if you're open to maybe putting a course together or we can create an ebook together, whatever the case is. When they launched this product, they made $18,000 in one month, but they followed the same strategy that I'm about to break down to all of you. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring my sis up, Kara, to really drop gems and drop game on how you guys can make money like Teresha said that wildfire money online all right online doing your thing from the comfort of your own home okay and you guys can start profiting I keep it real with y'all I did I did I did a digital product for the first time a few months ago for the very first time all right I had courses but I didn't have an ebook I never had an ebook didn't understand what ebooks really were and what they really did and, and the <laughs> and the ability to make so much money from ebooks i i dropped a seven dollar ebook and i made six figures off a seven dollar ebook i was wild i'm like i've been doing this all wrong the whole time right seven dollars turned into six figures for me in a matter of about two months and some people are going to say well you got you got a whole bunch of following yeah yeah you got this you got that when it's not about the organic following, you can have a hundred followers and still make six figures off of. You ain't gotta hear it from me. I'm gonna let the pro talk. I'm gonna let the pro let y'all know what it is. Shakira, how you doing tonight? Hi, good evening. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great. Ready to get active. Yes, me too. I'm super excited to be here. Hello, everyone. Um, I don't know if product set, I, I will be your coach inside the community for digital products. I'm going to end up sharing my screen so I can pull up my slideshow. All right, we're going to be talking about creating and launching a digital product. Um, let me see. Good. Some people are looking to start, looking to start. All right. Some people have a product. All right. So honestly, this, what I'm going to go through today, it can be useful for anyone, no matter where you are, whether you have a digital product, you're looking to start one or you know you're just trying to figure out what process would you take i'm going to go through all of that today so if you don't already i mean i'm i know i'm the last speaker tonight but if you have, don't have a notebook take one out because i'm really going to be sharing a lot of information so you could be successful i don't have a lot of time so the new york in me is going to start speaking fast i'm going to try to speak slow so we can get through it all though all right a little bit about me um so who is shakira me i am a mom of two um in a happy relationship uh, over here you see i was a coaching of i love to coach um, I was a teacher, a special education teacher for eight years prior to moving on to entrepreneurship and really learning the ropes of the back office of different businesses, also with creating and launching digital products. I did coach in real life. Like I genuinely enjoy teaching people. I like to break things down. And when people have those aha moments or they start getting active and they see results, those are what really keeps me going. And that's what motivates me. So that's just a little bit about me. I'm not going to go too deep into it because I know that's not why you're here. You're here to learn about creating and launching digital products. So let's get into it. But before we do that, I just want to bring to your attention, right? Uh, I, I like to talk on the mindset first, right? Because not everybody knows about digital products or they hear a lot of different information. But one thing I want you all to know is that we're, we live in a time right now where anything is possible, like literally anything. When you think about it, this example here, I mean, I have, can have thousands of examples, but this one right here, if you think 15 years ago when you needed to call a cab, you had to pick up the phone, you had to wait for them to answer, you had to give them your address, you had to wait for the cab to come. Sometimes you have to call the cab company back to get an update. And you think about it now today, like what do you have to do, right? Oh, all you have to do is open your phone. You can call an Uber, you can call Lyft, you can track it, right? They're moving, you can see how many minutes away. And I just want you to realize like the times have changed. So what you might have known versus what there is available to us now is completely different, all right? And you're probably asking like, why am I even telling you this? Why am I telling you about 15 years ago? Why does that even matter? Because I just want to tell you that if you have any insecurities or any self-doubts or anything, I just want you to know that that's going to be the only thing that's going to stop you from getting ahead. Getting to be where you want to be, it's all mental, 
right? So when I'm going through all this information today, I want you to really take the notes and you want to identify what steps we're going to be taking and just execute on them. Don't talk yourself out of it. Don't tell yourself that, oh, this because they have a large following. Everything I'm going to be teaching you is something, and I also teach it in the Discord. We go into way more depth than I will be able to go tonight, but you can do it, okay? So after tonight, you're going to have absolutely no excuse because you're going to have the exact blueprint and you're going to have the support. And that's what our community is about. That's what our Discord is about, is having the support that you need to be successful, regardless of what information you're looking to learn. Like all the coaches inside of the community are very, very supportive. All right. So get all that, all those things that are stopping you or that have stopped you in the past. Get that, get rid of all of that because we're going to change that tonight. All right. So a lot of times when people think about digital products, they don't really realize the potential. So I'm going to break it down for you real quick. Um, Prada talked about it just a second ago, how he was able to make six figures off a $7 product. And I'm going to show you because some people are like, oh, yeah, right. That's that that's not possible. Or it's like, oh, it's because he has a large following. But there's actually strategies that go into place when you are creating digital products. It's not just what you see. You don't realize that. So I just want to break it down for you. I I have a spreadsheet that you get access to inside the Discord where you can sit and play with this. But just for this example, I just added it into Canva and I can't you can't have the numbers changing. So I'm going to break it down and explain for you digital products in this sense. So when you look at this, we have different offers. So we talk about a lead magnet. Let's imagine you have a lead magnet and a lead magnet pretty much is a digital product or uh, like if it's a video, an ebook, uh, it could be a checklist it, and you are giving away information for exchange of information. So like I'm give, like if you wanted to learn how to fix your credit, I would give I can give you a free checklist or a free ebook on how to fix your credit. But in exchange for that, I want your phone number and your email right because that is very valuable in itself because once somebody exchanges information with you you can continue to retarget them and continue to make money from them right so let's just look at these numbers real quick let's say your goal is to get 300 people to download your free lead magnet right but what they don't realize and this is a structure that i teach and i break down inside of the discord it's called a tripwire funnel or a tripwire strategy. And it's pretty much like, yeah, they think that they're coming in and they're going to be getting a, a, free, a free product and that's it. But in reality, that's not what happens. They get the lead magnet when they once they input their information and they go and click submit, they're like, oh, I'm going to the confirmation page. No, you're not. I'm gonna offer you a product. I'm gonna offer you another product that's adding more value to the information I already shared with you. So let's just look at these numbers. So if your goal is to have 300 people get your lead magnet, if we said about 30% of them end up purchasing that offer, right? 30%, yeah, I, I used even numbers, I know that's not exact. 30% uh, of 300, let's say it's 90 people. If, t if 90 people took you up on that $27 offer, you're already making $2,400 off of something that people didn't even know was available right? Like off of a free product, really, and you're offering that. So I say, okay, well, I'm going to offer you that ebook, but then I'm also going to offer you an order bump, like something else on that order form. And I'm going to charge you $11. And this is going to be like, this can be like a, a masterclass that you already have, right? I'm going to offer you this for $11. Let's say 30% of the 90 people take you up on that offer. Okay. So now you're talking about 30 people just paid 11 more dollars to get that that other additional product. So we're talking about you just made $330 on top of the $2,400 that you already made. And now they're like, okay, I'm gonna input my information, I'm gonna purchase it, go to checkout. Now I'm going to my confirmation page. Mm -mm, not yet. I have one more offer for you. So here we're talking about an upsell offer. What else can I offer you? How else can I provide information for you or value to get you the result that you're looking to get? Right, this, right. This is what we're talking about. This is the tripwire where they're just kind of tri tripling into your into your funnel. They they came in thinking they're getting one thing for free, and here they already purchased two things. And let's say that thirty percent of the people decide to take you up on that first upsell offer for forty seven dollars. So those th those nine people, you're making another four four hundred and twenty three dollars. And then let's say that somebody's like, no, I don't want that. They say, no, thank you. I don't need this resource. And they think they're going to the confirmation page, but wait, one, I have one more offer for you. Let me, what if I knock that price down for you and add a little bit more value for just $27? Would you take that? And then let's say 30% of them do, and you have three people that just paid an additional $81. So now you, they went from thinking they're coming into your funnel and getting something for free and they ended up spending money and you would, you ended up making $3,000 in one month. We could talk about one month, right? So this is a calculator. This is just an example of playing with numbers, but I have a calculator and I always encourage people with when they're going to release a digital product is that you want to go and play with these numbers. What is your end goal? 
right? Because what if my end goal is to make 3,000, 5,000, whatever my goal is, okay, what do I have to start with? How many people do I need to get access to that free product to get my chances of reaching my goal? So if I know 300 people who opted in, there's no way only 300 people came to my, my funnel page. I need more people to see it because think about that. You're gonna need more people to see it. So this is just, I just wanted to go over this real quick so you can have a mindset. Like think about how Prada made six figures off a $7 product. I'm pretty sure it wasn't just $7, right? I'm sure he has a strategy behind it. And that's what we talk about inside the Discord. It's a strategy. What strategy do you have behind your digital product? You're not just releasing that one thing. And if you are, that's okay to do right now, but let's come up with a strategy. What's our next step? How can we make more money from each customer? All right, let me know if that makes some sense. Drop, drop, uh, drop a one in the chat if that makes sense. Let me know. All right, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so let's get into it. So the strategy that I like to use when I am teaching digital products or I'm working with clients, we go through a strategy, it's called the create strategy. I'm gonna break this down. I'm gonna try to get through all of it because I know I don't have a lot of time, but let's do it. So it's pretty much, I break it down. These are the steps that I take when I'm creating digital products and launching them, not just creating them because you wanna have a strategy for launching it as well. But before I get into it, I just wanted to share a screenshot. This is one of the clients that I have uh, that I worked with. Now, I say, I believe, truly believe that anybody can create and launch a digital product. You don't have to be an expert at it at all. You just have to be an expert at something or you have to be more knowledgeable than somebody else at that one thing. So this client right here was, they're into trading. All they do is trade, they don't do anything else. And I approached them and was like, hey, if you're interested in making more money passively through digital products, well, let me let me know if you're open to maybe putting a course together or we can create an ebook together, whatever the case is. When they launched this product, they made $18,000 in one month. Of course, they had a decent following and they've been adding value into a community already. So when they released that digital product, they got those results, but they followed the same strategy that I'm about to break down to all of you. So I need you to know that you don't have to, you don't necessarily have to do it yourself. You can, as long as you're an expert in something, we can get some digital products going for you. I'm not gonna go too deep into it. I just wanna show you that before I go into the strategy. So you know it does work, it works, all right? So step one, the first thing you wanna do is clarify. So you wanna identify your target audience, you wanna identify their, their pain points and determine the problem you wanna solve, all right? Sometimes identifying your target audience and go, identifying a pain point can go hand in hand because sometimes it's like, okay, well, what problem can I solve? And then who can I solve that problem for? Or you can say, you know what, I wanna help this group of people, what problems do I see that they're having? Okay, what problem can you solve? And I always encourage inside of the Discord is that when we talk about digital products, we don't want to solve all the problems with one product. That's not the goal. The goal is to solve a small problem because even when you solve a big problem, there's gonna be more problems, okay? So you, you identify one problem that you wanna solve and then who it is that you're gonna help. And that helps with your marketing, that helps with how you're, gonna, um, how you're going to give this information, right? Because when you think about it, some people like to read. They can read an ebook and learn everything they need to learn. And some people can't. Some people learn through visually or they, they have to hear it, right? So you have to think, who am I looking to help and how can I get that information across to them the best? Okay, so that's one of the first things. This is one of the websites. Um, if you join tonight using my link, I have a document that I'm gonna be sharing with you all that you have inside the Discord. I have, a, it's a 25 page document that I broke down this strategy more than um, what I can do in these slides. It's my time. Oh, my time's moving. Sorry. You, this is one of the websites. This is Answer the Public. And what you pretty much do is you type in your keyword and then you it comes up and it shows you all the questions that someone is asking about that specific topic. And what you can do is then what question is asked the most? And then you're able to click and see what responses are in there. Because a part of the strategy after you identify your problem is doing the research. You have to do research before you, you launch a digital product. You can't just say, oh, I think somebody has this problem and I can solve it. It doesn't work like that, right? Because just because you think they have a problem does not mean that they have it. You want to do the research. Identify other experts in your space. When I when we talk about this inside the Discord, I encourage 10 competitors. Find 10 people that are doing are in the same niche as you. Why? Because you're not the first person or the last person to teach this information. You have to understand that. So there's other, you have competitors and that's good. And what I, I like to do is I encourage people to go and see what do, what offers do they have? What are they selling? How are they selling it? You might even want to get, like if they have a lead magnet, opt in and see what is it, what's happening on their back end. Because why? You're able to see what they have and then you identify what can be unique to you. How can you make it unique to you? Because not everybody can sell information in it connects with everyone. Some people are like, oh, I like the way that you present that information. I want to purchase that from you, right? Because it's how you're presenting it. It's how you presented it to them. 
right? So you're able to do that. And once you do that research, you're gonna then just refine your concept. What specifically, how am I gonna solve this problem? And then we move on to the next step. This website right here, you could take a screenshot of it. This is nice because you're able to look up competitors, Instagrams, and you're able to see their best performing posts. You're able to see the, the uh, people that are engaged in their posts. Like it's, it's just very informative. I can't go too much into it tonight because we still have a few more steps, but take a screenshot of it and go to that website and find some of your competitors, all right? Let's go. So the next thing is we want to talk about is executing. Step three is execute. You want to talk about designing your digital product. You can design it inside of like Canva or Photoshop. And like I said, you don't have to be the expert in designing. You can hire somebody. You can go right on Fiverr or Upwork and you can find somebody to um, design your ebook. You can find somebody to, um, you know, put it all together for you. We talk heavy, like I go break this down a lot more inside the Discord of what strategies we can use, how we can leverage AI to help us. Because at the end of the day, there's there, at, there's no nothing that can stop us when we break down this strategy and we follow the steps. Like there's no excuses why each and every one of you on this call tonight can't create and launch your own digital product. All right, so then we talk about executing it. And the next four, uh, step four is assembling. You wanna make sure you're building a, a landing page. How are you gonna sell this product? Um, you're gonna when you're writing your copy on your landing page, you want to make it so people feel like they want to take action. They want to feel like you understand, right? You can leverage AI to it, but you want to make sure you make it personable because they want to feel like, oh, this person understands my problem. They understand where I'm coming from, and they're gonna be able to help me. Because sometimes your landing page can be your like can help you with those sales. You have the copyright, right? And then we talk about including the high uh, components of a uh, uh, landing page. Excuse me. What helps the landing page convert? We break this all down inside of the Discord. What elements do we need to make sure we include on that landing page to help us with getting sales? Um, the software I use uh, for building building funnels and building automations is Level Up Automations. I put that there if you wanna check it out. I love using it, it's all in one software. I don't know if any of you all are familiar with Go High Level, very same thing, all right? So we have, that's step four. The next thing is you want to test and refine. This is step five. You're going to determine the steps in your sales funnel. So when I talk to people about when you're building your funnels, you want to think, okay, hold on. What, ex what journey do I want my customer to go down? Right? Like, what's the first thing that I want them to experience? What's the next thing I want them to experience? And that's how you identify the steps inside your funnel. Right? When I talked about earlier how you go from having your lead magnet, you have your uh, tripwire, then you have your upsell, your downsell. You know, maybe you have an extra upsell and downsell. Really think about your clients or your, excuse me, your potential customers. Will they even want to continue to go through that digit, that um, funnel, right? Um, then you want to test it out, make sure it's selling your product um, correctly because you want to have the automations behind it. You can do all that inside the software where you're able to build that funnel, set up the automation so you don't have to physically be delivering these, like you don't have to go send out the email. You want it to automatically be sent out. Okay. And then you want to just tailor your funnel. So sometimes you could do like A-B testing with this software where you can have two different, like different headlines and see which one's performing better. You always want to be critiquing. It's not just about setting it up one time and letting it go. You have to go back, look at it. How is it converting? How can I make it better? And we will break that all down inside of the discord with creating and launching our products. All right. The last step we have here is just engaging and launching. I spoke about it earlier. Having a launch strategy is very important. You don't want to just be like, all right, I'm putting this digital product out here and let's make it happen. I'm gonna be honest, I did it. And I thought that, you know, I could, I have people that would just buy it from me, you know, because they've been liking my, inf no, like have a strategy behind it. What is gonna happen? What do you wanna do? What do you wanna do prior to launching the digital product? Right, you wanna have that whole strategy and then reflect on it after you do launch and see what steps you wanna take to um, continue to move forward. You wanna be attracting potential customers, nurturing your leads. We talk about lead magnets. You might not have a digital product right now, but you might have a lead magnet. That's fine, collect information. Because you know what? As you continue to collect that information, you're getting emails and phone numbers, you're able to nurture them. You're able to send out follow-up emails, follow-up text messages. A lot of you probably got an email to remind you about the call tonight. That's all automated. That's not, someone's not manually sending that to you, all right? And this is all in the process of creating and launching your digital product. Cause you would also, you could do abandoned carts for your digital product. Someone opted in, they got that lead magnet, but they didn't purchase your upsell or your, your offer. You can retarget them and remind them of the value inside of that offer. And then they might purchase. There's a lot of money made on the back end, all right? Just keep that in mind as you think about creating and launching a digital product, come up with a plan, all right? And then, so can I be honest with you all real quick? Yes or yes, I'm just, cause I'm an honest person. So I'm, it's yes, the answer is yes. All right, I'm gonna let you know. I know what's going through your head right now. I really do. You're probably thinking like, is this for me? I've never sold a digital product. You have all these different questions. And I wanna tell you all, the answer is yes. It's for everybody. This right here, I have, this is a testimonial I have for another client who launched a mentorship. 
they did a, a live mentorship and then they sold it after. And they were able, this uh, from January to May, your goals may be different. They made $12,000 off of their digital product from January to May. And it really wasn't, I just did from January to May, but like it was really, we didn't start working together until like March, but let's go from January. They were gonna make $12,000. They released it and then they sold it for more. After they did their live live mentorship, they sold the mentorship for more after. Why? Because they realized the value that was inside and then they had testimonials. So I just wanna tell you that like, it's very possible. That's why I'm dropping that here. So let me just get it out of the way. So this is one of the reasons I feel like people don't usually start is the is it for me and the answer is yes anybody can create a digital product and we talk about this inside the discord every single month we go through these steps and we make sure that everyone is able to get if they have a goal of creating and launching one come to the calls and they ask their questions everybody can make money online and there's people out here that have never had a digital product and they're making thousands of dollars you might ask me like why like how do you know that how do you know that because i've worked with them these are just a couple of the different testimonials everybody like i said has different goals in mind and depends on what it is that you want to make happen like these are some of the clients that i worked with where they've been able to make nineteen hundred dollars six thousand dollars like identify that goal and that that calculator that i showed you at the top you get access to that inside the discord play with that and figure out what is my goal and how can i make it happen what do i have to do to achieve that goal all right so I'm asking you, would you like to learn this step by step? Because we break it all the way down, how you can do it yourself. Would you let me know? Let me know. Type of me in the chat if this is something you will be interested in doing. Dropping me in the chat. Let me see. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, like it, it's literally the blueprint that you need to be able to do it. So I want to personally invite you to the Let's Get Active Discord. I know all the coaches came on before me and they invited you to it. So if you're not in it yet, I am personally inviting you. I want to see you on the calls. I want you to be able to successfully create and launch your own digital products. And even if you don't want your own, your own, we talk about different strategies that you can still leverage someone else's and make money. I'm not gonna go through that tonight, but I'm gonna be teaching you the exact strategy inside the Discord. So if you're not there, I need you inside so we can get that product launched. Okay, and like Black Friday's next week. I'm not gonna get into it tonight. But anyway, I'm finished now. Sign up now. There's gonna be a link in the chat. I'm gonna drop. If you sign up tonight, I'm gonna be personally sending, I'm gonna be sending out um, documents so you all can get access to it so we can get things started right now. All right? Let's do it. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. All right. Standing ovation. That's how you bring it home. That's how you bring it home. 